Welcome back, guys. This is Building a Million, One Day at a Time. So first, I want to start by explaining what the word FUD means. F-U-D, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Now, if you watch YouTube with other people and they use the word FUD a lot right now, we've got so much going on. And I just want to kind of go over and unravel what's going on with everything in the investment world. One, we've got high inflation. Uh, inflation came in this month, year over year, at 8.6%, which we normally want it to be around 3% year over year. So we're quite a bit high. We've got the federal government who had previously dropped the federal interest rate down to zero. That has now been increased three times. So we had an increase in March, an increase in May and an increase this month in June, just yesterday. Um, we're sitting, the first increase was a 0.25 or a 25 basis point. The second one's 50 basis points. And then yesterday they raised it to 75 basis points. So we're at a total of 1.5 interest rate. Now that's the money that's lent to banks and the banks lend to each other at that interest rate. That's what increases the interest rate for us. So when we were at 2.8% interest to get a 30 year mortgage, that's because it was at zero. Now it's at 1.5 and they're um, anticipating it to go to be around three and a half by the end of the year, maybe even four now, depending on how high inflation gets and if it doesn't start coming down. So interest rates have gone up and that is making it so money is more expensive to borrow and so things are coming down quickly. We've seen the stock market decrease. I think they said as of yesterday, uh, the S&P 500 is now technically in a recession. It closed under 20% for the year, um, year to date. Uh, the NASDAQ is down 5,000 points. So that's $5,000. Um, so we're seeing a lot in the stock market just decrease. Assets in general are decreasing. Cryptocurrencies are decreasing drastically. We've had some issues with uh, cryptocurrencies not being able to be the same where they should be. So if it's a stable coin, it's supposed to be at a dollar's level, but some now have fallen below that dollar level, which is causing tons of FUD um, in the cryptocurrencies. Um, we've had Celsius, which I've had st students talk to me after I put out my video about BlockFi. Students are like, well, why wouldn't we get into Celsius? They pay upwards to 17% where you said, you know, BlockFi only pays eight. And now you kind of can see why I was nervous about Celsius because anytime it's too good to be true, generally it, it is. And so Celsius has now frozen all their money withdrawals. So you can't withdraw your money out of Celsius right now. Um, BlockFi hasn't. There's a couple other cryptocurrency platforms that have been freezing um, withdrawals just because they don't have the money to let everybody pull it out at once. They're kind of like a, it's kind of like a run on the bank. If everybody went to their local branch to get their money out of the bank, the bank would not have enough money on hand to give it out. Mostly because Celsius, the way Celsius and BlockFi and Coinbase and all these other companies are able to offer interest rates like that is because they loan your money to other people at a higher interest. And so they don't have your money. So if you go, hey, I want to, if everybody's like, hey, I want to withdraw my money, that money isn't there. Some of it's there and they can withdraw some of it, but the rest of it's not until they get that money back. They have to put a freeze on withdrawals until they get that money to be able to withdraw back. So that's causing even more uncertainty and doubt um, and fear in the cryptocurrency world. And so you've seen Bitcoin drop down today. It's at 20,000. Uh, Ethereum's just barely teetering over a, a thousand still. Um, you've got Dogecoin that's down to five cents. I don't know where Cardano is, but it's down completely as well. And these these were all doing great. I mean, in November, we were seeing the peaks. We, we saw 69,000 for uh, Bitcoin. We saw 49,000 or 4,900 for Ethereum. I mean, Dogecoin hit like 78 cents um, and now it's back to five cents. I mean, that's a drastic change. Tons of FUD. Now they're talking all assets. So they're saying the housing bubble is about to pop. And I'll show you an image here. This is just my Zillow today. But I've had, I've got 10 different listings that were sent to me. Um, they said inventory was drastically low. Well, we're getting tons of inventory on the market now and it's not moving. People aren't buying uh, houses anymore because interest rates are 6% today. 
Um, to get a 30-year mortgage at 6% is crazy when five, six months ago, you could get it under 3%. Um, so having that double is a big deal. That, that adds three to $500 a month to your mortgage on most mortgages um, and, and just drastically higher as you get into bigger houses. So uh, you can see in that, that image that I, you're getting in decreased prices on listings and you're getting new listings sent out every day. I, I mean, six months ago, I was barely getting any. And now I'm getting 13 to 15, maybe 20 of these from Zillow every single day saying, oh, these, these prices are dropping. Um, I've got some down the street that have just been, they're not even finished building them yet. They originally had them listed at 415. And these are small 15, 1600 square feet, one level, two car garage, three bedroom, two and a half bath, 415. They just, I just looked at it today. They're at 385. So they've already dropped 30,000 in price. Now, I said this in one of my videos previous that with the housing market, when interest uh, increases by every 1% it increases, usually it drops the prices of homes down by 10%. So we've seen an increase by th almost 30 um, or 3% since then. And we haven't even seen, I mean, on a $415,000 house is what they had it listed at, and it's only dropped 30 grand. That's less than 10%. So we've still got more room to fall in the housing market and people are just becoming really, really scared. So you're gonna start seeing um, the housing market do come down, it will come down. Um, you'll see um, prices fall, you'll see more inventory as people are wanting to sell their home but can't, so they'll sit on the market longer. If you are looking to buy, I've got some advice. My advice is one, start saving as much money as you possibly can, okay? In the past, I've said to do two things, save 10% of your income for to put into the S&P 500, which I would recommend continue doing dollar cost average as it's falling and put 10% into a high yield savings account to save, to prepare to buy your first home into real estate. Now, my advice is gonna stay about the same, but I'm gonna say increase those savings. Don't increase maybe not necessarily the S&P 500 unless you can, but increase that savings. If you can increase that to 30, 40, 50%, do it. Cut back on your spending. Don't be taking lavish trips. Don't be doing, I mean, it's summertime, but don't be just blowing money left and right because you have it. This is the time where you wanna save up as much as you can because in the near future, probably the next six months to a year, prices are gonna be the best that they've been in the last I don't know, three or four years, housing market, stocks, crypto, everything. And this is the time that you want to have money available to purchase those things. So what I'm doing personally is I, I just paid off all my debts and I'm going to be now saving as much pop money as I possibly can to prepare to buy more things like real estate, stock market, cryptocurrencies. And that's where I want to be right now so that in the next three to five years, I can see that those stocks have drastically increased. The real estate fell and then drastically increased. And we saw it in 2008 with the market crashing. It took a while to recover and then it recovered and we saw super, super highs. Now it's coming back down to realistic levels and we wanna be able to afford to pick these up as they're coming down and make good profits on it. Now, I know that sounds easier than said, to do, but it's possible. So if you haven't bought a house yet, if you're not quite where you want to be in the stock market, now is the time to save, 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 save as much money as you can get a second job. We're going to have layoffs coming up, you know, with these bigger companies, but in these smaller towns, they still need jobs, um, working some, maybe some things that you don't want to do. I, I started door dashing more. I donate plasma. I, do whatever I can to make money. I've been picking up cans, aluminum cans. I've got up to 50 cents a pound since my last video about aluminum cans. I think it was at 35 cents. Um, so that's gone up. I'm saving as much money and trying to make as much money as I possibly can right now to be able to purchase things as they come down. That is the key. That's how you benefit from these, these recessions is being able to purchase now, I didn't sell any of my stocks, really. I mean, I, I do my, my daily buy and sells and stuff like that. And I sold some um, calls and some puts, but 
everything I was in, my Tesla shares, I'm still in. I bought a bunch of Roblox, I'm still on that. I, I, I just started picking up more Ethereum. I haven't picked up more Bitcoin yet. I'm still thinking that it, it's gonna come down, but I've been dollar cost averaging in Ethereum as it's fallen. Um, I think I brought my um, average or my average purchase down to like 1290. So it's now down below my average purchase on that. So now I'm just picking it up as I can each day. Um, so I am buying some things there as they fall, but I'm not, I haven't bought real estate. I haven't sold any real estate. I was trying to do a, a deal where I could do a 1031 exchange, but now that the market's fallen so much, it doesn't benefit me to sell my properties to 1031 into this property that's more expensive. And they actually just pulled it off the market because they knew they weren't going to be able to get what they wanted out of it. What I'm doing is I'm just preparing for that crack or that recession in prices so that I can purchase and in five years from now, reap the benefits of everybody fear and uncertainty and doubt, selling everything, selling all their stocks, selling their crypto, not wanting to, to be in it right now. And the majority of retail are getting out while I'm picking it up and preparing for that future when it's gonna be better. Now, if you're like, Chase, this is stupid. Why would I do that? It's just crashing. Betting on the stock market is betting on America being America. Now, if you think that America is not gonna be here in five years, or we're not gonna be you know, in a good situation in five years, then yeah, it's a bad bet. But I'm betting on what I've known my whole life and through research clear back to, the, to 1900, is America is going to do what it has to to survive. And that means that companies are going to continue to move forward. They're going to keep producing products. Our GDP is going to continue to grow over time. Um, unemployment is going to go up and then back down. Interest rates are going to go up and then back down. Housing prices are going to go up and then back down and then back up. Stock market is going to do the same thing. So I'm betting on America to stay where it is. Um, yeah, inflation's high. Yeah, our our debt ratio at 30 trillion is extremely high. But overall, I still think America's great. I think that our businesses are going to keep flourishing over time. Even though we're having layoffs, that's what happens in a recession is we have layoffs. Um, jobs will be back again once things start picking up. Once everything opens back up and we get the flow of, of products and everything back to where it was, we'll see things balance out and then rage forward again. So that's just a little um, advice to give out. Um, again, take it with a grain of salt, um, but that's what I'm doing. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. For those that still are watching my videos, thank you so much. Um, this is not my career or my job. I'm here to help advise those that watch my videos, um, some of my students and stuff like that. So if you do like the videos, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and come back once a week because I'll have a new video every week. This is Building a Million, one day at a time. We'll catch you next time.